Kids these days are so occupied with their iPhones and Hedgemals, so how the heck are they learning anything outside of school? They certainly aren't learning from watching the falling off roof prank on mom she freaked out or nurse Peppa Pig fix Shrek rotten root canal videos they're mistakenly manipulated into watching. They can't learn from autonomous money making machines. They can only learn from things created with actual soul and passion. No other entertainment medium has more soul than animation. Animation is something that's inherently seen as childish. People shy away from it because there's too much color or humor. I mean, there's no way that could be taken seriously, right? Despite the fact that several adult-oriented animations exist, animation is seen as a children's thing. And now, because that's the currently accepted truth of animation, creators are using it to their advantage. Sometimes animated films simply exist because of money, other times animated films exist because they have something to say. The recent Pixar film Coco is what got me thinking about this topic. Coco is a film about death quite literally. Under the surface of the whimsical adventure the movie presents itself as, it's a story about death, acceptance, family, and memory. These themes are all over the place in other movies, but Coco is special because it presents them in a creative, engaging, and easy to understand way. It's the type of creativity that, whether you're 6 or 60, will affect you. Even if it doesn't affect you because you're some kind of stick in the mud, you could still appreciate and understand what it's trying to do. From a child's perspective, death is a rough topic to fully comprehend, yet Coco teaches it. Never in the movie does anyone blatantly explain death, it's all simply presented through visuals, and if a kid had already heard from a parent about death, Coco delivers a colorful and understandable visualization of the topic, and it doesn't hold back from showing the obviously depressing aspects of death. It shows the sadness and happiness that could come from it. The way I see it, even though the film is based around Mexican culture and beliefs, it can be used as a basis for a parent of any nationality or beliefs to teach their child about the subject matter. Parents can draw comparisons from the events and locations in Coco and apply them to the beliefs they want their child to have. Coco takes a dark subject matter that kids need to learn to understand understand and accept in their lives, and teaches it in a tasteful and creative manner. Honestly, this teaching concept isn't even exclusive to Coco. Teaching difficult, real-world topics has been a trend over the past few Pixar films. Inside Out is about accepting sadness, and about how all your positive and negative emotions work together to form who you are. Finding Dory is about accepting mental illness and teaches not to think less of anyone. Cars 3 is about accepting age, I think. Let's, let's ignore Cars. This is part of why animation is so important. It can educate in ways that live action books or even just actual teachers can't. Because animation is seen as something that's kid friendly and immature, it can actually be the most meaningful and mature entertainment that there is. If cartoons are going to be aimed at kids, then don't treat the viewers like children, treat them as growing people. That's about all I have to say for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really think people need to stop being so critical towards animation and just need to enjoy it for the art that it is. We need to focus more on what certain stories are trying to convey, not whether or not they fail at doing so. Anyways, this essay style video is something I definitely love to do more of, so let me know if you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching!